Seriously, skilling. What's this do? Nothing to it. Somebody let me try this on you. <sighs> Holy hell, you actually did it. What an amusing little turn of events. Bastard. Nice work, everyone. High fives all around. Now, well, thanks to you, a major part of my work is now complete. Just like before. Screw you, man! I don't know about you, but I'm headed back to reality. See you there. Hold on. Saki! <sighs> Saki, are you alright? Um, who are you? Huh? And where... Am I? No. No, no, no. Has she forgotten everything? Saki! Huh? It's me, Pinkoon! Your loyal familiar, bound to your bloodline! This stuffed animal can talk? For real? 
She doesn't even recognize me? Her delusion's been shattered. Saki Saki, what's wrong? This can't be. Saki made one hell of a sacrifice. <sighs> hey, Saki. It's me. It's Asahi. You remember me, don't you? I'm sorry. Really? After all the battles we fought together, we were practically inseparable. So how can you just forget? How? <laughs> Stop, Asahi. She's not the Saki you knew anymore. No. That can't be. It can't. You had to know this could happen. My, oh my. You took your sweet time getting out of there. You were so late, I even thought about going home. You! Ah, the repatriation of the princess. Sadly, your highness, I'm afraid you've no castle to return to anymore. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> what a twist! The clock's just past midnight and the spell is broken! What a ball this has been! Why so angry? You should be celebrating the erasure of another delusion. Now that Saki's delusion has been nullified, does this mean the delusions will stop spreading? Huh? My, you are a naive bunch. Kenan is still out there, so no. What? As long as he's kicking around, the encroachment of delusions will continue unabated. So, in the end, there was absolutely no meaning in you destroying this delusion. None. Stop messing with us, you bastard! That's enough. <laughs> what awful timing. We were watching you, Kasuga. Who are you? Allow me to apologize on Kasuga's behalf for his incredible rudeness. Huh? And speaking of watching... Didn't think we were important enough to warrant your appearance, Mr. Big Shot. It's been a while, Reiji. <sighs> it's still not too late to rejoin us, you know. Consider it a standing offer. <laughs> you never were any good at telling jokes, Director. I've heard all about your exploits. A lone man wandering all over creation looking into any delusion he could find. Still have some lingering attachment to them, do you? Don't know if I'd say attachment. Well, really, it makes no difference to me what you'd call it, or where you've been, or what you've been up to. As long as you don't get in our way, that is. You do know what'll happen to you if you do, right? I'm afraid I don't. Why don't you educate me? Rejoin us, then, and I'll reteach you everything there is to know about the DAB from the ground up. Just say the word. There's even a seat, all warm and ready for you. Only word I'm going to say to you is no. Today's incident has you looking more harrowed than usual, so I'll let that slip this time. And only this time. I know better than to hold out hope, but we will be waiting if you change your mind. Nice job today, folks. Toodles. Hey. So, who was that exactly? Mikado Kurosaki, who is, as you may have guessed, the director of the Delusory Administration Bureau. And so marks the destruction of another delusion. The girl grew bored with the tedium of reality and sought something unreal. A delusion of unreality. Perhaps that was her mistake. We all have our delusions to strive toward in one way or another. But I can't confirm any of this. Not from my position. Or maybe our different positions are the only things that let me know for sure. That delusions should be held dear. That we shouldn't avert our eyes when they're right in front of our faces. But it's alright. I know it is. Delusions are always there for you. Constant companions in a lonely world. <laughs> 